Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, I got to give my shout out to Romeo Estiazaran. Romeo Estiazaran was the first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus he wins his shout out. So, congratulations, Romeo Estiazaran. So, what do I got for you today, folks? Um, I mentioned that uh, this is the year 2018 of the cheap toy grade. GPS quadcopters, and that's what I got for you today. I'm going to be doing a couple of them today from SJRC. SJRC produces some nice products, and they have some really nice GPS drones that they've released recently that I wish to re review. And this one here is the SJRC S30W. Now, the S30W is a dual GPS quadcopter. It has, supposedly has GP, er, GPS and GLONASS, so, you know, very rapid lock on of uh, GPS signals, uh, location signals, so it shouldn't take too long to, you know, lock on to a uh, GPS. As compared to older GPS quadcopters like the, let's say, the CX-20, which would take 10, 15 minutes before you could get a GPS lock on. You know, your battery's dead <laughs> in those cases. But this one here locks on rapidly, you know, just a few seconds, actually, half a minute or so. Um, what we got, it's powered by, it is a proprietary battery. Let's take it out. It's a little 3.7 volt proprietary battery. Uh, not little though. I'm sorry, I said little. It's a thousand milliamp per hour battery. So it should provide, you know, plenty of power to the GPS and also to the camera, which is a Wi-Fi FPV camera. Now, let me make sure this is the right side up. That's the right side up so you can see DC 5 volts. <laughs> It is a 720p HD Wi-Fi FPV camera. Now, I, you know, being a Wi-Fi camera, a lot of people are going to poo-poo it, but actually, it is one of the best quality Wi-Fi FPV cameras in 2.4 gigahertz that I've seen. Um, it has range, not close to 200 meters. Uh, these HJRCs actually do a very nice job of Wi-Fi FPV. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. So, um, it also includes a micro SD card slot. So you can put a micro SD card in there to record directly to uh, the card to avoid any Wi-Fi lag that you might encounter, although it's very minimal. You'll see what I'm talking about here when I fly this thing. Um, other than that, you know, it's a very nice little flyer. It's based on one of their, I can't remember what it was, the S30, the original S30. I have, I have reviewed something very similar to this in the past, and it was a great flyer, so I expect this one to be a great flyer also. Uh, but that's the quadcopter itself. Let's go over the controller. This is the quadcopter's controller. And the buttons are all very nicely labeled, you know, for, uh, you can, oh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> you can raise and lower the angle of this camera. So this camera gimbal does raise or lower a uh, limited amount of degrees, you know, like 10, 15, maybe 30 degrees max. <laughs> but you can move it up or down by this button here, up and down. Uh, the buttons on the right here, this is for your camera, for long press for starting and stopping video. And this quadcopter, believe it or not, has follow me. And you can activate follow me by pressing this button here. How does it have follow me? Well, it follows the uh, GPS location of your phone. It's actually following your phone. But when you press this button, it will lock onto your phone via the uh, app. I'll show you the app here, the SJRC SJ GPS app. Um, other buttons on this, you can have a return to home. Since this is a GPS quadcopter, it will do an automatic return to home and automatic takeoff, automatic landing, and if you do two quick presses of this, uh, emergency shutdown. And you can do a compass calibration by bringing both sticks up, and I will demonstrate that here shortly. Gyro calibration by both sticks up and to the upward, and you can adjust the rates of the quadcopter from beginner, intermediate, you know, speed level one, speed level two, speed level three, by pressing into the throttle stick. And you can select GPS or altitude hold mode going between each by pressing into the pitch roll stick. So that's the controller. So let's go for the flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy the flight. First thing to do is turn on the quadcopter. And that's just a quick press of this button here until you see the lights come on. And you put the quadcopter on a flat level surface. And you can see the battery level right there. It's showing we got full battery level. And you turn on the transmitter, bind it to the quadcopter. And also, we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi of the quadcopter. Hold on. Now, this is the uh, SJ GPS app. Now, notice this app is useful for several of their quadcopters. S20W, S30W, which is the one we're reviewing now. The S70W, that's the one we'll be reviewing here shortly. 
X300, X300. So, you know, there's other quadcopters, but again, we are going to be using the S30W. Okay, to start a manual compass calibration, you don't really need the app, although the app comes in handy. All you need to do is move both sticks up and inboard, like so, and we get the same prompt. Uh, grab the, the drone and do a 360 degree rotation until the back lights turn to a solid blue. It's kind of hard to see them in the sunlight. Then put them up like so. Uh, nose down and one full rotation till the lights turn solid white. And they're solid white now. And you can put the drone down. And we got a compass calibration. Okay, now we have the connect drone connected. Uh, it's been calibrated already. Uh, the first thing I want to demonstrate is uh, automatic takeoff. So we're going to do the automatic takeoff button. There. Quick press, actually, and check its stability. Stability seems fine. Now, we're going to try that follow me capability. Let's go up a bit, and I'm going to put myself into the picture. I see myself in the picture right now, and the birds just went over. We are going to select follow me, and again, we got a follow me button. So all I got to do is press this button here. and see if it actually follows. It does appear to follow me. Let me raise that camera up a bit. It's doing it. Let's see if we go over to the left here. Will it follow me? When will it notice that I'm going over to the left? It's doing it. So, you know, not bad for a quadcopter to have follow me. Now I'm gonna turn that off because there's something this also has. Follow me turned off, and that is uh, actually I got to turn something else off too. It has beginner mode set, so we in the upper right corner here. Actually, I am going to turn off beginner mode so we don't have any flight limitations. Yes, because this will only fly at 30 meters with beginner mode turned on. And what I'm going to do next is go up higher, go up above anything that we might have impact. And then I am going to select, there is that mode there, follow me, and hit my location, it's not follow me, it's, uh, well, it's, it doesn't seem to be working, there we are, no, I'm going to turn that off folks, because that does not seem to be working properly, <laughs> okay, let's go I bond from that altitude there and do a return to home. It's, oh, it's still got that GPS turned on. Or, um, what do you call it? So let me land it. Let's do a return to home first. I guess I needed to turn that off before taking off the geofence, but it does have a geofence capability. Let's see how accurate its return to home and landing is. Not too bad. Okay, and then I turn that off. Now, guess what I forgot to do is turn on the video camera. Uh, let's turn on the video camera this now. Okay, it's recording. Let's do another automatic takeoff. I'm going up a bit higher. Oh, I forgot to do something again. Automatic landing again. And we are going, I forgot to turn off the geofence while it's on the ground. Emergency stop is two clicks. Turning off the camera. Holding the button down for two seconds to turn off the camera. And going back to the geofence again. What I am going to do, even with the geofence turned off, I am going to increase the flight altitude and increase the flight distance. 200 meters or so, way out there, 360. Return altitude, but actually I don't want to go much higher than 40 meters. 
even with flight altitude. We'll leave that as those alone at about 40, but flight distance out to about 360. And then we're going to hit save. And we're going to do an automatic takeoff again. We should be good there. And starting the camera one more time. And automatic takeoff. Going up a bit higher. And going up on. We're going to go out into the desert, increasing the rates. Up and out. And we'll plop it right about there. Okay, we're. Our signal is good. Let's go out a little further. And up higher. Going past the storage area over there. And right now we're 117 meters away. I still got signal. FPV signal, believe it or not. Going up higher. And is my camera going up or down? I'm trying to lower my camera. Oh, the camera signal's not working anymore. And I lost GPS signal. <laughs> not GPS signal, FPV signal. Oh, there I got it back. I'm going pretty fast off in that direction there. I can see it off in the distance. And we'll stop it right about there and see how it works. Okay, it stops itself pretty nicely. Let's do a return to home. Automatic return to home. We were out there past 100 meters, 150 or so. Coming back all by itself. See how accurate that return to home is. Little red dot up in the sky. This is a little tiny thing. So, you know, you really don't want to be flying it too far out. About 200 meters would be about maximum for this little thing. So let's see how it comes down. It's toilet bowling up there. And, uh, you know, I don't recommend going at high rate. When you go at high rate with the GPS, you can actually get ahead of the quadcopter. Doesn't seem to be wanting to come back down again from up there. <laughs> Here. So I'm gonna pull it down itself. It doesn't want to land itself from up there. When I return to home, it seems to just come overhead and you bring it back down. So I'm lowering the throttle to bring it down. And we'll stop it right about there. Emergency stop. <laughs> so, and turning off the camera. Okay, we are just about, we are out of battery, so we're gonna call it quits right there. So, you know, that's just a quick look at this little S30W. It is a neat little GPS quadcopter. Um, you know, you, you can get ranges out to about 200, 300, they predict 400 meters flight control range, but you're not going to be able to see this at 400 meters flight control range. And your your GPS or your FPV video is only going to go out a little past 100 meters, which was is pretty good in itself considering it's a Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. So. so that's the S30W. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.